Have you wondered what's in the Ixalan Booster Battle Packs? Let's open it up and find out. Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, Magic Fan. So I recently bought the Booster Battle Pack 2-player game, Ixalan Edition. I'm really liking Ixalan, and you probably are too, because what's not to love about dinosaurs, vampires, merfolk, pirates, and indigenous warriors of the Sun Empire. So I got this. Battle a friend. Recruit a friend and embark on a journey to the untamed jungles of Ixalan, which have long hidden a coveted secret, Oraska, the city of gold. Contents. Two single color magic decks, two Ixalan 15 card boosters, and the reference card that everyone is tired of. So I think I know what's in here. I'm gonna be a little disappointed if it's exactly what I think, but let's see what we get. All right, so how to play. Step one, unwrap the decks and decide which player gets which deck. Step two, players open a booster pack and choose up to five cards of their deck's color to add to their deck. Shuffle and play. So, yep, there's a couple of Ixalan boosters right here. Then we've got the decks. Oh man, this is exactly what I think it is. These are the 2017 pre-constructed pre welcome decks. You can get these for free at your local game store. And I paid $9.95 for this. So borrowing from the professor, is it worth it to buy the Booster Battle Pack 2 player game? Most likely no. These, when I confirm, are most likely the 2017 welcome decks, which you can get free from your local game store. These might have a Jacer of Raska or some mythic. Uh, Carnage Titan, please. But these, these are free. Let's check it out. So this came with a black and a white uh, mono decks. Probably every uh, of them is, is random. But let's open this one. So, if this is what I think it is, it's going to have uh, cards from the uh, Welcome 2017 deck. This one is uh, number 6 of 30. It's going to have 5 of them. Then it's going to have a random assortment of Amonkhet, Kaladesh, and Aether Revolt cards. Plus uh, lands from Amonkhet. Welcome 2017 number 6, number 5, and number... Okay, so those are from 2017. Then we've got Amonkhet, Amonkhet Land, Kaladesh. Yep, this is uh, this is that uh, exact thing that I thought it was gonna be, and uh, kind of feel pretty ripped off. But that's okay. I was able to see what this is, so that you don't have to. So this is all exactly the welcome deck. And this is the, the black one. It's got Nightmare, Baron Sengir as the important uh, rares and stuff. And it's going to have Amonkhet Black Lands and uh, Aether Revolt and Kaladesh. Uh, I'm going to keep this one closed because I know what's, what's in it already. Check out my other video to see exactly what's in a pack. Okay, well, the randomness of it, of why this might be worth it, then is going to be these two boosters. Let's see if we can have some good luck. March of the Drowned, Ryle, Shining Erasaur, Opt, I got a lot of one drops right there, Swashbuckling, Headwater Sentries, Vanquish the Weak. I've had people use this on me so much. Pirate's Cutlass, uh, Sam uh, Islandfeld used this one to great effect. Annoying 
to Deacon. I think he said that's a good one too. Look out to Dispersal. Vicious Conquistador. He said this is a very good one for draft as well. And it is a 1-2 for one drop. And uh, whenever it attacks, each opponent loses one life. So this is first pick, first pack, first pick. And we've got Savage Stomp. That's another good one, a good pick in draft. Make your dinosaur battle another dinosaur and you give it a permanent plus one, plus one counter. Oh, Jace Mythic. Okay, great. This is totally worth it now. This card right here is what, $10, $15 or more? And I paid nine bucks for the whole thing. And then we've got a nice shiny Deathless Agent. Uh, uncommon Foil. Nice. Nice little island and another pirate token. So, okay, okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting uh, uh, convinced that maybe this is a good deal after all. Uh, maybe. Now, if this is another great mythic or car uh, Carnage Titan, then this is like the best pack ever. Right, Legion Conquistador, Dire Fleet Hoarder, Treasure Hoarder, Ooh, Tila Naiz Knight, this one's really good if you're playing uh, Dino Deck, Looming Altasaur, 1-7 Creature, Jade Guardian, Shore Keeper, I like using these one drops, this cycle of keepers from the Exalon set, these one drop keepers, and they've got this huge mana sink for later on in the game, uh, here you can draw three cards if you put eight mana into it, and early on if you put uh, one mana you get a zero three 3 blocker, chump blocker, one with the wind, I love this card, enchant creature, it gets plus two plus two and flying. So for only two mana, you can make your creatures fly. Like maybe that uh, looming Altasaur. Wouldn't your opponent love to see this? You've got a 2-9 flying dinosaur. Beautiful. And we've got uh, Grazing Whiptail. That one's pretty cool because of reach. Demystify for all those pesky enchantments. Skymark Bloodletter. Now, here's the thing. Do you call it Skymarch? Bloodletter, or do you call it the correct Skymark Bloodletter? Trust me on that. Vampire Soldier, uh, when it enters battlefield, target opponent loses one life and you gain one. Pretty cool. Okay, then we've got the Verdant Rebirth. Not much to say about that one. Unclaimed Territory. Uh, this one's cool, it helps you create mana of any color. Some great mana fixing, depending on a creature type you select. Hey, can I pick Planeswalker? No, because a Planeswalker is not a creature. And uh, Emissary of Sunrise, what's coming up next? It's a black card, no wait, that's the token. What's coming up next? Yeah, it is something black. And we've got the Ruin Raider. There's the rare in this pack. It's a 3-2 for 3 mana, plus raid. Uh, beginning At the beginning of your end step, if you attacked with a creature this turn, reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to the card's converted mana cost. I don't know about that. And then we've got planes and then a vampire token. So second pack wasn't that great. The commons and uncommons were better than the rare, I think. But the first pack got that mythic... Uh, Mythic Rare Jace, Cunning Castaway. Have you seen the uh, high-res wallpaper of this card? You, you see all the great detail, like his, uh, his old cloak back from Hour of Devastation and such. So yeah, pretty crazy. Three casting cost, three loyalty to start off with. Plus one, whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player. This turn, draw a card and this card. Minus two, create a two-two blue illusion creature. And minus five, create two tokens that are copies of Jace, except they're not legendary. Wow, Jace is on top of Jace's. So, was it worth it? Uh, I'm still gonna say no. Uh, this is just uh, luck of the draw, cracking packs. Uh, which is fun, but when you've got the cards that you need, uh, cracking packs isn't gonna get you that far. Uh, because the main thing in the deck is, is, is two welcome decks. Two welcome decks that you can get for free at your local 
a game shop if you have one. If you don't, okay, you can get a pack here, but this is still very underpowered. I like that it's got this classic Nightmare card from back in my day uh, with the new art, but uh, it's mono-colored, it's very low-powered, and supposedly you're supposed to mix some of these cards in here. Well, one was white and one was black, so I can't even use any of these blue cards, or white cards, really. Uh, so, nope, this is not worth it, but in my rare case, it was worth it. Thank you, Pirate Jace. Thank you. So, this has been VM Campos. Be sure to subscribe for more cool magic videos, comic videos, technology videos, cool videos. See you next time.